Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different than what I've ever done before, which seems to be my new theme if you follow my channel. And I am going to show you by recording my iPad how I edit my nail pictures using PicMonkey. Now the reason why, and there's a couple of different reasons why I'm using my iPad. Um, it's quicker, meaning I have less options on my iPad with PicMonkey. Mind you, this is also the paid version. It is the premium version. I 100% think it's worth investing in the subscription to be able to have all of the options. Uh, I don't see, you don't really receive all the options here on the iPad, but you do receive way more options when you're on your desktop. Now, the reason why I didn't record my desktop and do it that way is because this is what I'm using the majority of the time. In a perfect world, I would like to be able to come home and transfer files over and use my desktop and really, really put time, like an hour for each picture or half an hour even for each picture into them, but I just can't and it's just not how my life is happening right now. So I do tend to edit these pictures on my iPad. So if you go to like my Liquid Chrome Nails Instagram page, for example, most of those 98% of those pictures have been edited on my iPad. And I've had countless questions about how I edit, which thanks guys, I thumbs up on that. I really do appreciate the compliments. I didn't think I was doing that great of a job. I do a little disclaimer here, want to let you know that I am in fact a nail technician. I know very little about computers. I know a little bit about my iPad and I know nothing about graphics or editing. Anything I've learned, I have YouTubed, I have found, I have stumbled upon, or I have found by accident. So I just want you to know that as you're watching this, as I stumble, perhaps, that I'm not a professional. I am just doing my best. So let's get started by tapping the PicMonkey app and opening that up. Now I'm already signed in because this is my app. Um, if I was on the desktop, I would have to sign in, no problem. But I'm going to go right into my hub. And in my hub are all these pictures. So these are nail pictures that I've transferred over. Um, the liquid chrome nails picture at the top right is actually the picture I use for the thumbnail for my podcast. So if you haven't checked those out yet, that could be cool for you because I've got some Instagram tips in there. Um, some of the other pictures that are here I've used for thumbnails as well. That's me grinning at you down below in my new salon, happy as a clam. Some of these pictures are done. Um, you can see, for example, this one that I'm going to open up. He's done, that's all edited. But let's come back up here to the top and find one since tis the season. It is nearly Halloween. Let's go with, I want to try to show certain things. So let's go with, let's go with this one. So the first thing we're going to do is click edit at the very bottom. Then you can see the list of things that we can do. We can crop, we can adjust, effects, touch up, and so on. There are certain things that I never use here, and there are things that I use every single time. So we're just going to go through them. First, we're going to go to crop. I think I'm going to leave this one be, but I am going to show you how to crop. If you are planning on posting this to Instagram, you can make it more Instagram ready by going right to the left of what's chosen, it says free. If you go right to the left, that is your square Instagram. So I can move that to wherever I want it. Maybe I will use this one because it is gonna make them a little bit closer up. So there you have it. Let's say I, you know, I've decided to go with this one. Up in the top right corner, there's a check mark. You wanna click that. There you go. So if that's all you wanted to do, up in the top right corner, you can hit save and bada bing, you are done. I do just want to point out as well on the desktop that um, it saves your work as you go. They've just updated their entire program, so every change that you do gets saved, which I totally appreciate. I really like that. Anyway, so moving on here. We've cropped, 
So cool. Now we are going to second in is adjust. So we're going to go to adjust. And then we have levels, shadows, highlights, and so on. First thing I'm going to do, Norma, this one's for you. Do you remember back in 2005 in California when we were there for OPI, you gave me my idea for my icebreaker? Nope. No, I think we were in Tennessee. You gave me my idea for my icebreaker. I got up there and I did my presentation, and as far as I'm concerned, I rocked it. Now, I never ever knew how I was going to pay you back for that, so here it is. I'm going to show you how to blur the background in your picture. So you come clear over to the side, clear over to the right, can't go any further, and you see blur. So I'm going to touch that, and it gives me this little circle that I can move around with my finger. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. So let's mess around with that a little bit. I'm going to make it really small. So do you see how blurry the nails are there? It's because it's outside of the circle. To go one step further, I'm going to turn that way up down in the bar below, and you can see how blurry that gets. So I'm going to tap on the picture again. It's going to give me my little circle back. I'm going to make it bigger. Bang. Because I want to see the nails, right? If I only wanted to see one nail, ooh, let's pick this guy. I like this guy. There. Then I would turn that way up, and the rest of the nails are blurry. So that's how that's being done. If you guys have any questions, please throw them down in the comments box. I will answer them the best that I can. Again, I am not a professional. So what I'm doing here is I've just moved my circle so that it's just the fingers. The thumb wasn't really in focus anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, generally, when I post pictures, I'll post two or three, maybe of different um, different places with the, the way the hand's laying. So you'll get to see the thumb later on. So I'm just going to go with this. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to turn that up a little bit to really blur out the background. And I'm going to click the upper right-hand corner, which was your little check mark which tells it to go ahead and do what you've told it to do. I'm going to go back into adjust again because it's kind of booted me back out of adjust. I'm going to go back into adjust and I'm going to look at clarity. For example, I'm going to turn that way up. That's not cool. I'm going to turn it way back down. So this basically, guys, is how I learned to use this. Go into each and every one of them. Turn them way up to the extreme, see what it does, and then mess around with it a little bit. So that was clarity, and um, I don't think we need any more clarity here. So let's go to contrast. Way up, lordy, way down. Now sometimes I do turn them down a little bit, and I am going to turn this one down just a titch, just a little, right there, minus six. So again, I'm going to go up to my check mark up in the right-hand corner, and I'm going to tell it that that's okay. I'm going to go back into adjust, and uh, I think I'll play with the brightness a little bit. I'm going to turn it way up, so you can see what's happening there. Way down, again. I'm just going to leave it right in the center, I guess, so that's that. So I'm going to click the check mark again. I'm going to go into touch up now fourth one over and then the second one over smooth I love smooth smooth is awesome so I'm going to color in the cuticle in around the cuticle a little bit and there's a reason why I'm doing this and it's not because she has bad hands because she certainly does not the reason why I'm doing it is because you don't want the focus of the eye to go directly to these little monsters right here, these little wrinkles, because sometimes when you look at a photo and it's that close up, that's where your eye goes immediately. And that's not what we want happening. So I just keep coloring. I'm just doing this with my finger. You can make this little guy bigger. You can make him smaller. I always just leave him alone, I guess. So, do, 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 do. Also, another th thing this is good for is dust. So if you've left any dust on the hands, I'm always in such a hurry to get a picture that sometimes I leave dust behind on the hands. So bada bing, there you go, dust, gone. So cuticle, and I find as the winter, 
can't get into that cuticle. I find as the winter goes on and people's hands get dry, of course, um, mine do as well. Um, it, it sometimes it just requires a little bit stronger, right? So I'm going to go back down to the very bottom in that little bar that will go up and down, and I'm going to turn it way up just to show you, like, look how cloudy her hands look. So that's not natural. So we don't want that. And I'm actually going to turn it down below the 50% mark. So I'm going to turn it down below what it was when we even first started because I don't think it's necessary to blur them out entirely. I just wanted to, to dull them down a little bit. So I'm going to click the upper right hand quarter check mark again because I like how that looks. So next thing I'm going to do is put my watermark in, which will also be your next video. So if you'd like to stay tuned for that, it will be coming up. If you haven't subscribed yet and hit the little bell down below, I would love it if you did that. And that will allow you to be notified the next time I post a video, which will probably be the video of the how to make your watermark. So. My watermark, way clear to the right on the bottom is graphics. I'm gonna touch that. So this is taking me into my hub again, which is fine. I'm gonna scroll down through my hub, trying not to make you car sick. Okay, way down here. So I have a couple of different watermarks. One's not actually even finished down here on the left-hand side. Uh, the very bottom one is kind of cool. I used that for a while. Um, the second one down on the right, that's kind of cool too. I use that every once in a while. And the one I use the most is this one. I made this guy right here on on Pick Monkey. Um, I really love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna move it up in the corner. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right there. I generally don't think too much about where I'm putting it. So I'm going to hit that check mark up in the right-hand corner again. Then I'm going to go back into my graphics because I have decided to add. I have decided I'm going to put more than one, more than one graphic. So I'm going to use this guy because he's kind of cool. I made him as well. Uh, I'm really going to have to think about how to show you how to make him because I'm really not sure how I did that. But um, let's just uh, plop him somewhere weird. Let's put him right there. Yeah, no, 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 down here, right in the corner. There, that's better. So again, right-hand corner, bang, there you go. So I think I'm done with this. I think this is good enough. This can, this can go on Instagram. So up in the right-hand corner, again, I'm going to click Save. Then I'm going to save it to my camera roll. Then it's going to give me something funny up here. It says, are you a wizard? That was magic. Always assume that means it's saved. I'm going to click save again because now I'm going to say hub. I'm going to save it to my hub because I have this app on my iPad. I also have this app on my iPhone. So now if you do not use your iCloud to throw your pictures back and forth between your phone and your iPad, which I don't because I have way too many, um, now I can go into the app on my phone let's say tomorrow if I decide to post that because I like to try to stagger my posts. I do have another video, by the way, of um, how to succeed on Instagram. If you would like to look that one up, there's a couple, but the newest one um, actually hasn't been posted yet. I just edited this uh, that as I was starting to film this, so keep an eye out for that one. But anyhow, I can go into the app on my phone, my pick monkey there, and I can go ahead and grab that picture right out of there, save it to my camera roll if I choose. You know, you can do multiple things from there. I do apologize that I don't know what to tell you about Androids or Samsung phones or LG phones or, or whatever. That is totally out of my realm of things to do. I only know what I know. But if this has helped you, please give the video a thumbs up. It's what it's what keeps me going. Um, if you'd like to look at my Instagram, it's under Liquid Chrome Nails. Throw me a follow. I'd love to follow you back. Uh, on Facebook, I am Liquid Chrome Nails again. There is also, if you are a nail tech, there is an East Coast nail tech page that you can join on Facebook as well. Lots of Lots of help there, lots of ideas, love to post the funny memes that you see about nail tags, just that sort of thing. Um, and have a great night. By all means, I really hope that you're able to figure this app out. Like I said, if you've been on the fence about 
purchasing it, not purchasing it. I believe it's $54 Canadian for the year. And when mine came up in November, nope, nope. The 1st of October. When mine came up the 1st of October to renew, it wanted to know if I wanted to renew. It was an absolutely, I didn't even think about it. Uh, this is my second year and I love it. So I hope you all have a good night. Please give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have anything to say. Have a good night.